oil, make sure that it's not overfilled. Oh goodness. It is overfilled and it smells like it's full of gas. With that much gas in the oil, something's got it going on in that carburetor. Uh, this unit does have a fuel valve, so this is on, this is off. Ideally, when you're not using it, you would leave it in the off position. When I got it, it was in on the on, and the carburetor is right here. It's, it's tight in here, but I should be able to get this air box off. Get the air box off, loosen it up, and pull the carburetor out a little, and then turn that gas back on and see if the needle that's know, right here in the bowl, uh, in the float, if it's not floating up and sealing that needle tight, then it's just letting gas continually go in. That gas is gonna leak into the cylinder. And if the intake valve is open, it's just gonna let gas in. And that's what will get past your rings and get down into the oil. So let's pull all this off and let's see what's going on. All right, so now I have the fuel valve on. So just the natural gravity from the tank coming down to the carburetor. Um, there's this drain valve right here. And if I crack it open, I can see gas coming out. So I definitely know there's gas in the bowl. But with the carburetor loose, I can have it hanging out here. I can clean up all the gas that's on the carburetor in the bottom of the unit, and then I can just let it sit and watch for gas leaking out, you know, through the intake side of the carburetor or the back side where it hooks to the engine. All right, while that oil was draining, I cleaned my hands off and I came in here and I touched the bottom of the carburetor. And when I'm touching the bottom of the carburetor, I'm getting gas on my hand. So that tells me we do have something going on in the carburetor. So I'm going to turn the gas off and I'm gonna pull this carburetor all the way out and take it apart and see what's going on. I got enough room with the eco throttle on here and actually the gas line still connected. Uh, gas is off. Yes, gas is off. <laughs> oh, I think I might know what it is. I, usually there's a little red um, gasket right on the this little bolt here. I'm also noticing little marks on the outside of the bowl, like somebody's been in here. So I wonder... What was done prior to bringing it into me? <laughs> well, heck. <laughs> all right, let me get this all the way out. All right, so here we have the float and the needle. See it right there? That sits right in there. And this plastic piece right here, there should be two sides to that post because there's a pin that goes through here. And you can see that it is gone. Don't know, but <laughs> somebody has been in here, somebody broke it, somebody put it back together. Without that there, this needle's not going to sit right. Gas is just going to keep filling the bowl and do exactly what we saw. All right, so we got to see, can we buy a rebuild kit that has this plastic piece in here, or do we need a whole new uh, carburetor for this unit? All right, seconds for you. Couple days for me. New carburetor is here. So we're gonna disconnect the wire. We 
you hook this guy up and let's install this and uh, put some oil in it and hopefully we have a good running generator. All right, got the air, air box installed. Gonna have to try to remove the spark plug. It is tight in here. And I may or may not be able to get my wrench on it. Need a little swivel. That's sometimes working on these generators can be a challenge. It, it's so tight in here. All right, we're definitely putting a new plug in. I mean, all that gas is coming up. It's just this plug looks pretty crappy. Now we're gonna add some oil. Just put some 10W30 in here. It's Colorado. Probably gonna ran, be ran when it's called out. So if you look at the manufacturer's, uh, the manual, it'll say what oil to use. So we went with the 10W30. Okay, moment of truth. Turn the fuel on and I'm gonna open up the garage. I suspect it's still gonna smoke a little, but we'll let it run for a bit and I think we're gonna be okay. Ah, I figured the battery's dead. 